Hi, welcome to Uprooted. My name's Lori and I want to give a video, do a video on our May update. Lots of things have changed out in the backyard garden. I'm excited to show you and thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Really fun to have you along um, for this journey Jim and, I, Jim and I are on in our in our first backyard garden. So let's get to the update. Here I have four um, different varieties of green beans that are getting their first taste of the outdoors. I'm not going to let them see any sun. It's going to be 90 degrees today, so, but they're getting a little wind and they're going to go back on the grow station. Kind of a spotty um, germination. This, this is a whippoorwill climber and only one out of those. And here it is again and just kind of strange, but I'll take what I can get. This is a red bush type bean. Um, two of those didn't germinate. And this is a, a green bean um, that I have. And look at that poor little guy. Help. So not a lot. It's kind of strange to me. Now the these are my scarlet runners and I sowed these, um, I guess it was the ninth, and I put some out in the garden too just to see how the difference would be. And these are quite a bit bigger under the grow lights, but more um, germinated out in the garden, so that's interesting. Anyways, these little guys will be going out in a week or so after they get used to being out here. Apologize if it's distracting. So here in this bed that Jim built, I have a teddy bear sunflower there. Here's more of my dwarf colas. So beautiful. Look at that. They're going to be just gorgeous. I don't know why they're facing this way, but those are the colas. That there is a butterfly milkweed. It's doing well. More. Now these are my teddy bear sunflowers. And they are, of course, started a lot later. In the back are my titans. Doing well. Not close to opening. These are my red sun sunflowers. And they started those later. There's another dwarf cola that's showing a little bit of its beautiful yellow. And this was my best titan. Biggest stock until a deer found it yesterday. Thankfully it didn't bite off the head. So I have this chicken wire put around hoping to deter it from eating any more of my sunflowers. Up to this terrace, got a bird. Bluebirds just hatched a little baby out of that. Jim put in all these new dogwoods and those trees. But here we have the garden. We have it all secured at this point. We have a temporary gate right now. Jim's just working like crazy to get this part of it done. So let's go in here and take a look. You can see a lot of things have changed. We've had, we have the arches up, which these, um, these are my Lady Godiva squash right here. All along this side, I have some teddy bear sunflowers in there. This keeps coming off. Um, we've been out here weeks I guess. See this. I'm trying to get it trained to come up here. It's so hot today I've actually given everything a drink twice. Now this one piece broke off today. It was as big as the others. I don't know what happened but it's got a lot of 
growth, so I think it'll bounce back well. Um, onions. We've got tomatoes on this trellis thing. We're trying this string thing out. Um, not so sure how these are going to go. And look at my poor Amish paste. Something got a hold of it and just decided it was so tasty it wanted to eat it all. So hang in there, Amish paste. Oh, I'm going to try to train them up these wires. I have my Dutchman, two Dutchman, the Opalka, I'm not saying that right probably, and then some red Burnswick onions along here. Carrots, little finger in the back that I just um, separated those out the other day. And look at my poor Jerusalem artichoke. Kelly from my UK homestead. She got me inspired to try a Jerusalem artichoke and I found this guy who was much happier before I put him in this bucket. I got him at the Baker Creek. So I'm hoping he'll bounce back. Got some bee balm lemon and more of my sunflowers, titans. Um, I put in some more seeds of those also. So let's just keep looking around here. Really excited about how it's turning out. Along here are some more tomatoes. Jim put this trellis up. It's going well and I have some basil planted in there. It's doing good. I have these cages on just trying to detour some birds. Now on this side of the front arch I have some of my, these are my bet, bitter melons and they're starting to get moving a little bit. Um, I have some dragon tongue bush beans here. Germinated those in the bed. They look like they're doing good. I'm excited about these lemon cucumbers. These plants are doing awesome. Started these and they've been out. Ooh, it's got a good grip on there. It's windy. Sorry for the wind noise. Um, but those are doing well and I hope to have my arch covered and with all those plants be a nice look. Here's a little strawberry bed and I got all of these from Baker Creek and look I have a little strawberry down there and I ate a little strawberry so I'm hoping these guys will really do well. Again got a nice net they're protected. Now on this arch it's a single arch I have two types of cucumbers and they're doing okay. Kelly from Kelly's Kitchen Garden in Scotland showed a video on how to hand pollinate your cucumbers and I have been doing that. So hopefully I will get these, these little guys will make it. There's one here I pollinated. Uh, he looks like he's kind of I don't know. We'll just have to see. Like I said, it's been so hot. But they're pretty, and I hope to have those coming around the arch, as well as this Table Queen squash. It's got a few nice squash on there. And I actually thought I had um, two of these to put in. I gave a lot of them away, which was fun. But I only had this one, and it's climbing, so I popped a couple other seeds in there today to get one going and that's a um, zucchini Ford hook. It hasn't, it had some blooms, it hasn't been doing much lately. And in there I have my white onions, started those from seed. So these are all doing well and I have dill in here with these two different kinds of cucumbers. They're um, pick, Pickles Pride, Pickler's Pride and a Chicago pickler. Um, I'm just kind of going by the beds to let you see a little bit of what's going on. In the middle of these two, um, these two rows here in the middle of this bed were onion bulbs I bought at the Baker Creek Festival and they're coming up really well. 
and then I have some peppers from which this one is the sweet oh I don't know can I read my own writing sweet chocolate maybe they'll soon I have some nasturtium coming up in there um, here's a sweet Anaheim and two these are two paprikas so they're all seem to be doing well they got their second drink so I think that was helpful and more peppers more onions more tomato varieties um, here's a jalapeno and this is two Tabasco and a two cayenne so hoping that my peppers will provide me with making some salsa and, and some hot sauces. Now those are my tomatillos. Real excited about those. They are doing well. They have flowers on them. Everything so far seems to be taking to the garden well. And then um, these variety of tomatoes. This is a pink bumblebee cherry. It's, um, I'm going to put a picture of what it's supposed to look like. Um, the catalog to let you see. And here's uh, three La Roma, hoping for sauce, and again my tomatillos. Now this little tomato up here, or tomato plant up here is my, um, oh I already said that, didn't I? My um, Otom, oh, what was it called again? Atomic Grape, Atomic Grape. My cousin and I both got one, so we're, and we're going to compare how ours do. I'll have to put a picture of that in to show you what that um, tomato is gonna look like. And these are just two American beef steaks. All of these were started from seed except for the Atomic, I bought it at the festival. And here's another grape, I can't pronounce, uh, it's Italian, so. And I have two of those, and down here at the end is the pink bumblebee. Okay, am I repeating myself? Sorry if I am. Um, I wanted to come out here later because it was just too hot and too bright to see anything. Um, a lot of my sunflowers back here some of them have been snacks for, I don't know, I guess bugs. There's some more bee balm, pollinator. So that's gonna be nice for the garden. Um, the smaller ones are the red sun and the bigger ones are my titans. Funny how they're doing so much better in the other ground, but the titan there is kinda has the head here. And here's a blueberry that I bought at the festival. Uh, variety was Blue Crop. And sadly, I put it in this spot that now we want to put a large squash bed, watermelon pumpkin bed. So little blueberry, Blue Crop's gonna get pulled up and placed at the front of the garden. And just hoping he will do well. But these boards out here, Jim's finishing up. We're going to put another dump one and a half bed like the entrance back here in this spot for um, more climbing vegetables. Jim's horseradish is making a big show. Very proud of himself. Jim makes awesome horseradish, uh, I guess, with condiment. Everyone loves it. You have to open all the windows in the house because your eyes will burn out of your head. But other than that, it's some good stuff. And he, little horseradish, is going to stay in this spot for the time being. And if he continues to be massive, we might move him on the outside. But for now, his home is here. Oregano, uh, doing well, spreading out, really nice. Started that. Most of these, are, again, are baker creek seeds. A little bee balm, some thyme. I planted some basil back there today. And my cilantro is its finally kind of making a show. So I, I planted some more today. 
try to, I need this, I need this. Come on, cilantro, I need you. We have big plans for you. Now here's two uh, peppers. These are the Pablam, Pablamo, Pablamo. Really, they look really nice. And they have just been so thirsty. My cayenne, these are two cayennes doing well. Um, I had kind of tipped all the, the tops earlier and they've really grown out. But this guy, he's just wilts and he needs a lot of water. My chives are pitiful. I don't know what that's all about, but um, I guess I'll be sowing those again. Here are two sweet chocolate peppers looking nice. One's a little nicer looking than the other. And these two are um, Anaheim. And some had a few nibbles on that. And here's a flower that I let's see what was the name of it oh I can't ever pronounce anything moss rose there I can pronounce that these are really doing well hopefully I'll be able to separate them out and put them in other place and there's the warm bucket those guys are still eating and I have here a carrot bucket and these are the Pulsa. Anyways, they're kind of a red. And um, Tony at UK Here We Grow kind of got me thinking about that. And also his bucket video on potatoes. Oh, here comes a plane. Sorry. Yeah, we're in a plane zone at times. Uh, look like a Southwest plane. They're flying a lot. But anyways, here's my potatoes. I have four buckets of Yukon gold and I have three buckets of um, Pontiac Reds and what I was saying before that plane came by was that Tony at UK Here We Grow has great videos on container potato growing and it happened to just I found it just when I was looking to plant these again see potatoes I got from Baker Creek now here are our thornless triple crown blackberries i have four of them and they seem to be doing real well and uh, eventually we will put some wire on the post to hold them up my sweet peas though should be all the way up this fence by now i believe i sowed these in april and i finally realized that birds we're just pecking these poor little guys to bits. And see, that one's just starting. Once I put these little cup things up, another little tip I've seen on a lot of uh, allotment videos, um, UK allotment videos um, have these, and it's been really helpful. And I think this is fine because of a, those my little sweet peas might make it. But yeah, they should be all the way up by now. There's another butterfly milkweed. Help out that monarch. Now this bed is doing really well. Have a lot of radishes, carrots, beans, and we put this net on here because the birds again were, I didn't know what was going on, but they were just attacking these these sad beans. They're, with this net, they're finally getting flowers. These here are the tongues of fire green bean. And the ones back here are my blue lake. My blue lake green beans. I have a few marigolds that I bought in, in there. And along the back I sowed extra peas. These um, peas in the middle are ones I put out from what I started in the house a while back and Jim was going to build a terrace for me here or trellis for this but I decided I wanted some bamboo do some teepees so I have those coming so we'll be transferring those but I'm going to be probably picking all these radishes they're way ready I have um, a red bulb and a French breakfast and they've been delicious we've enjoyed 
Look at them. I mean, they're like, we went out. Take us in that. Carrots in here. So happy about this bed. Um, the carrots along here are kind of being hidden from the radishes. So I will get these pulled tonight. So I will make put more in. Over here is a, another, you guessed it, butterfly. And all these peppers in this bed are king of the north. They're a sweet bell pepper. And here's the scarlet um, runner beans that I mentioned earlier that I sow directly. They don't have the, the tendrils coming up out of them like the ones I have in the house. But I'm going to put the ones from the house on the other side and some more of my beans in there and probably on that side put um, some more radishes or something. So that, you know, hopefully those beans will grow over top of this. And my my rhubarb, he's he's like sending up a flag. Help! Help me! This variety is called Victoria. I bought it at Baking Tree Festival, and it had uh, at that time when I bought it, it had four big, nice stalks. And this little guy was just wasn't even open yet. Once I put it in the ground, the other four. Um, they just shriveled up and we cut him away thinking it might help him but we're, we're gonna send help but yeah isn't he sad I'm sorry I'm sorry I water him I if you have any suggestions on rhubarb share them he's he's begging you he's someone help him help him but anyways yeah here's the bed here's the garden I, I'm sorry I didn't say bed here's the garden but out here are our asparagus. These were two um, year old crowns. I got these from Grower Solution and the variety was um, Jersey, what was it, Jersey? Jersey Night. But um, yeah, they're coming up. We're gonna earth those up soon. Jim did a lot of work back here, my little compost thing back there. It, it's. I don't know, I've got to really work on doing compost, but excited about our asparagus. And again, here's a view from the back of the garden and the, the tub over here. Oh, I was so excited when I saw this at an antique store with my cousin Kelly while I was in Missouri, this old wash tub. And I'm going to go to the garden center and get um, some really cool plants to put in there for another decoration. So here, here's what we have so far. I have some comfrey. Oh, and my raspberry, he's he's over here. Uh, back over here. That is a variety Caroline. Can you see it? Let's see, a lot of shadow. Yeah, just planted her in there, Caroline, and plan to put more raspberries along this veg lake. Okay. So, uh, to wrap it all up, um, that's how it's going. I have, you know, other plans, uh, things to put back out, and Jim is trying to get this bed, these beds done, because he has to switch his attention to another project, which actually started this whole backyard project. And that is this pull-in. So our whole backyard is totally redone and rechanged re from all the years we've been here. And Jim is pouring all the concrete. Uh, the pool didn't get done until late last year, uh, October actually. So he is going to get busy on that and building that out. But more about that later. So thanks for coming along with the tour. If you're, if you made it through all of that, um, hope to be showing these arches all covered with beautiful plants soon.